Apollo na- astronauts brought back 382 kilograms of moon rocks and soil. Matter of fact, when I worked at did work at Arizona State University, they have their what they call their Mars building. They actually have moon rocks in there. They do. They do. Yeah. Yeah. Can anybody go see them? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I think you can go and see them. So these samples have been studied by scientists all over the world for decades, not just NASA, but geologists in multiple countries. So the rocks composition, age, and other properties are distinct from Earth rocks. For example, they contain no traces of water or weathering because the moon has no rain or wind, right? So some have tiny impact craters from micrometeoroids. I like that, micrometeoroids, <laughs> which don't happen on Earth. Even the Soviet lunar robotic missions returned a few hundred grams of moon material, and those matched the Apollo samples. So if it was fake... NASA would have had to somehow acquire a huge amount of unique extraterrestrial rocks. The Apollo samples are unequivocally lunar. Um, Distributing fake rocks to labs worldwide without being exposed would be nearly impossible. But to date, scientists still publish papers on lunar samples. So that's a that's a lot of evidence, you know. (laughs) So moon rocks are are real uh, tangible evidence.